Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to try something different. I'm going to use this product that I heard um, YouTubers talking about. It's seen on TV. I've never heard of it or seen it on TV. But I'm going to try it on a couple purses and see what happens. Um, so I'm getting prepped here. I've got the leather cleaner. I've got my soft sponge. I'm not using that side, but got this a little wet. Got my soft cloth. Got my newspaper. I'm going to probably start with this J. Crew purse here. It is in dire need of something. And I think it will maybe be worth its while. I don't know. Then I've got a little coach purse here that needs a little cleanup and a fossil purse that needs some cleanup. So um, I'm going to stop it here and restart it and you can see how it goes. Thanks for watching. So I finished with all the purses and you know, I'm never quite as enthused about a product after I use it, except for the Swiffer extension duster 360, that thing rocks. But anyway, I think this product worked pretty good. Um, again, I just bought it because I had seen other people mention it in videos of purse cleaning or uh, there's uh, some coach lady on Instagram that just and i should find her name and put that in here she restores old co coach and it's just gorgeous but i'm pretty happy with the results there's a little scratch there but it did clean up some of the spots there's some fading and wear um on this one but the fossil turned out pretty good i'm sorry i didn't have a picture of that beforehand very close um, the back cleaned up really nice. Um, these, I used it on these, and they look pretty good, actually. On these leather connectors. Um, this one has a fabric-backed um, leather strap. But I moved some of these so this could get a breather, um, as well as this one. And then the last one was the coach. I think this one, I don't know. It really didn't seem to do much. This is such thin leather. I mean, it's 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 an authentic purse, but um, over the years, their leather has gotten thinner as well. Um, but I think it shined it up pretty nice. There's a couple of spots in there. I'm not sure what they are, but the back turned out pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with that but it didn't get this little spot off the hang tag either, and I'm not sure what that is. But um, what I really wanted to use it on was this Todd's wallet that I have. And I found this out thrifting um, for an excellent price. I think it was maybe 10 or $12. And the one comp on eBay is new with tags for 500. Now this is, I think it's called blush pink, but this looks like it's faded a little and it looks faded from the one that's pictured on eBay as well. I'm gonna go to the Todd's website and do a little more research, but I am I think I'm gonna use it on this. Um, having used it on these and there's no, no downside to it, so I'm gonna try it on this Todd's wallet. And um, I don't know if you can see the Todd's there. 
it's, it's kind of a nice wallet. If it was a brown or black color, sorry about that, I'm one-handed, I would keep it for myself. I'm like forcing it open, but pretty nice inside, pretty decent. Uh, and then this is a, I don't know if this was meant for a Blackberry or what this, or eyeglasses maybe? Yeah, probably glasses. But um, I will open that up too. Now that needs a little cleaning, but I don't know what I'll do with that. And that feels like, hmm, boy, it feels like cowhide, untanned cowhide. I'm going to have to read up on that. But anyway, I think the um, leather CPR was pretty successful, especially on this beat up old um, vintage J. Crew purse, which is actually pretty cool. It's got the magnetic closure. Um, these can snap in place. Um, it's got the shoulder strap and the hobo hand strap. And then these can be put in different spots. I suppose that also affects the, I can't get it off with one hand though. That's the one thing they don't tell you how weak your hands get when you get older. But anyway, oh, and when I bought this stuff, I got some of this with it. I actually got a granite CPR too, so I'm gonna try that, but I just used that on this table. And, you know, again, I'm not super enamored with the product, but it did a good job. And um, I think these were about $10 a piece on average. So, um, not too bad. Well, thanks for watching my first cleanup day.